Hi, I made this video to show you how to derive the computations in your call financial ports. As you can see, I have two ports, JFC and MM. You will learn how to derive the market price, the average price, the market value, and compute the gain and loss, and the percentage gain loss as well. Call executed two of my JFC orders, which I ordered at two different dates and at two different market prices. First lesson I learned is that I should have bought JFC stocks when it was at its lowest price. Orders executed can be found in the transaction invoice, historical data, select the specific month, the price at which you bought it, the gross amount, and the other charges. Every peso counts so better know the charges. Stock price times the number of shares is the gross amount. The gross amount is the base amount at which the commission and other charges are computed. To compute for the commission, I use an if statement. It is gross amount times 0.25%. If it is greater than the minimum amount of commission, which is 20 pesos, then the operation is performed. If not, the commission is 20 pesos. That is 12% of the commission. When the transaction is by, other charges total up to 0.015% of the gross amount. This consists of the transaction fee and the SEC fee. The net amount is the total purchase values of those number of shares of that stock code that you purchased at its last price. It is gross amount plus the commission plus the VAT plus the other charges. I use round formula in some cells to match what is seen in the port. The net amounts are reflected in this transaction invoice. I listed those two orders. The same formula applies for both. As you can see, the second order is at 194.2 price. Next are the values that you have to check out when considering a sell. Market price times the number of shares is equal to the gross amount of the sell that you can actualize. But aside from the usual charges, this is subject to additional sales tax which is computed as 0.6% of the gross amount. The sum of the sales stock and all the other charges gives you the total net charges. This is the amount deducted to the gross amount sell which must be equal to the market value that you see in your port. The paper gain loss is equal to the market value minus the average price buy times the total number of shares to sell. Your goal is to sell when the gain or loss is a positive value. Thus, the market value should be greater than the net amount at which you bought the stocks. Now try deriving the values in my MM stock code port. Here is the transaction invoice of the net amount buy of my MM stock. Pause the video and derive. This is how I verified the values in my trade ports. Unfortunately, both of my ports are negative. I'm gonna show you how much I could have gained if I invested 2,000 shares and the price already went to 250 pesos per stock. I would have gained 100k thousand if I sell all my JFC shares at a stock price of 250 pesos per share. For long-term investors, we can wait patiently for JFC to return to 250 to 350 price per share. For short-term traders, you can take the risk of selling all of your stocks once the market price of JFC rises and get the immediate returns of your investment.